What's going on guys? It's your boy Julius with Exclusive back at it with another one. As you can tell by the thumbnail, I had some problems with Project Jixer. Um, I wasn't even going to upload this video because this is a special case problem, but if anybody's actually interested in what's going on with Project Jixer and not just trying to do an engine swap, I decided to go ahead and post it just for anyone who's actually following and wants to know what's going on. But uh, this is a special case problem. Um, and what I when I say special case, I mean I got a 2009 bike. That's what it originally is, is 2000, 2009. But the engine and parts that I bought come from a 2011. So if you stay within your year um, or you know similar years, you won't have the issue that I'm having. Um, so I did run into a problem. Um, I am working on a way to correct it. So I'm not sure how long it'll be before I get another video up because I have parts to uh, purchase so yeah more money to spend but I keep a tally of everything um, like I said we're gonna know by the end of this project whether it's cheaper to build or buy a 750 if you already have a Jixxer 600 so I'll tally up everything um, and every part that I had to buy or you know I have a whole list so but yeah not gonna waste your time get into the video I appreciate you guys for checking in again and uh, enjoy all right, it's the next day, uh, back out here working on the bike. Um, I'm not really planning on doing much today. I'm gonna get the wheels on it, um, make it rolling again, and maybe lock down those uh, back to motor mounts. Um, other than that, looking at it right now, I don't think there's much else that I wanna do to it today. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. All right, so I did run into a problem with the intake. The 2011 throttle bodies and intake are different. Um, I know in the 2011, they said that the engine was tilted a little more further in the frame. So I don't think those were necessarily in any engine modifications. I think there was more of a frame mount modification. Um, but the throttle bodies are different along with the intake, uh, the air box. So let me show you guys. All right. So here we are. This is the 2011 uh, 750 throttle bodies, and you can see how they are. Um, now, right here, I still have the old throttle bodies hanging, which I know isn't good, but these throttle bodies. You can see the difference now, not necessarily the size, but you can see how they're all individual, whereas on this one, there are two and two. Um, so let me show you what that looks like with the air boxes on it. So with the air box on it, this is the old air box. I'm just gonna show you guys. That's the air box from the 2009 600. You can see that this lines up. Of course, it's not perfect because it's not screwed in and the throttle bodies are slightly different, but you can see that that lines up pretty good. So let's take this one off. And I'll get the throttle box or the air box for the 2011. So set this on here. Now the way that the air box even mounts on the bike is different. Um, the way it mounts on those throttle bodies. Um, the way the old one mounts, you come through here and you tighten some screws down that clamp down the gasket. Um, whereas on this one, you come from up here and you screw four to six, I can't really remember, six of these screws down directly onto it. So I can't even make the other one work for this, uh, for these throttle bodies. So as you see, it goes in there, but here's where the problem is. That does not line up. Now, I don't know how big a deal that really is, but I feel like I would be choking the bike from some air, you know? So 
The other one sits on the frame perfectly. The gasket is nice and tight. Um, it's not really letting any, I don't know. I just, I feel like I don't like the way this one fits in there. It doesn't, it doesn't make me feel comfortable. Um, if you guys think it's a big deal, let me know. All right, so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a 2009 750 throttle body and put that on this 2011 750 motor. The motor does not seem like it's that different. It seems like they made most of the changes in the throttle bodies and the intake. Um, what that will allow me to do is not only have this lined up, but the actual plug on the throttle body here is different from the one that comes on the 09. So I'm hoping what that allows me to do is keep this wiring harness because that's really where I see these changes at. Um, so yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I'm gonna go to a custom shop here in Fort Lauderdale and see what they say, see what they think, maybe get some input. Um, I haven't had anybody's input on this. I've just been winging it, but I don't really know what would be best at this point. So I'm gonna go to the custom shop. You guys let me know what you think, whether you think this is really a big deal, um, or if you think the 2009 throttle bodies will work. Um, I don't know if this engine is putting out any more horses than the 2009. Um, if it is, then I think that's where they made the changes at, is in the intake and the air box. So I might lose some horses, maybe drop down to the with the horses they had in the 09, but that doesn't really bother me. I used to have the 09 750 or the 08 750 actually, and uh, it was a pretty quick bike. So that's where I'm at. That's gonna be the end of this video, guys. Um, I really don't, uh, I don't, I'm kind of tired to be honest. So I'm tired, I don't really know where to go from here. There's nothing that I really can put on. I guess I could put on the exhaust and stuff, but uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna call it a night. So, all right guys, next time.